Hi, this is Ian Stewart from Flowtown Mastering, and in this video, I'd like to show you some of the new loudness management features in WaveLab 12. First, a new loudness analysis report has been added that's accessible via the Analyze tab in the ribbon. And whether you need to provide documentation as part of your deliverable package, or you just like to keep track of where you ended up for a project in terms of loudness, this is a really convenient tool. You can select exactly what you'd like to analyze and include in the report. And once you do that and click start, WaveLab will run a complete analysis factoring in any and all plugins, gain adjustments, etc., to give you an accurate assessment of the final loudness metrics for either your montage or a file you have open in the audio editor. Then when it's complete, you can view everything that's been analyzed, select what you'd like to include in your report, and save that report to a variety of formats, including PDF, HTML, XML, plain text, and more. And the list of metrics you can include is nothing short of comprehensive. We've got all the usual LUFS metrics, integrated LRA or loudness range, uh, momentary and short-term maximum and minimums, true peak, and then more traditional measures like RMS, sample peak, and DC offset. And you can even display the left-right balance in loudness units. On top of that, you can display all these values as absolute or relative to full scale, or in relation to the different distribution loudness reference levels used by various streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Netflix, etc. So that's the new loudness analysis report feature. Again, super useful for creating a savable, shareable record of a whole batch of files quickly and easily. Next up, we're gonna look at some of the new visual analysis tools. So you may have noticed this button in the ribbon earlier, and when we click it, it brings us to the visual analysis tools window. To utilize this, we just need to select an individual clip or a group of clips and click analyze. And now, overlaid on top of the clip, we can view traces of all sorts of different loudness metrics. We can turn these traces and hotspots on and off for different metrics, control what variation of that data they show, uh, set exclusion levels for the hotspots, etc. You can also hover your mouse over a trace or a hotspot to see the numerical readouts and even have WaveLab auto play through all the hotspots for you. So, all of this makes visual analysis of what's happening with the loudness of your files really simple in a way that might be easy to miss if you were just watching meters in real time. Plus, it adds a great educational element in that it makes it abundantly clear how different types of processing impact loudness and dynamics. It doesn't stop there though. When you click the analyze button, the underlying audio file for a clip is what's analyzed. However, you can also click this Analyze Rendering button to see an analysis of that clip after it's run through your montage or audio editor processing. And now you can view them simultaneously and control which is dimmed, or you can use the Control Command key to toggle between them. You can even display a difference or delta trace to see how your processing is affecting things and paste the analysis from one clip into another so you can analyze before and after analog capture on separate clips. Then once you're all done, you can just click the clear all profiles button here and get back to your standard waveform view. I'm personally really excited about this next one and it's the new loudness matching and level compensation feature that's been added. This makes it so quick and easy to accurately do a loudness match comparison of your montage output with any of your reference tracks, which is really critical for making objective and unbiased before and after judgments about your work. So now with a single click, you can make sure you're making things better and not just louder. To enable loudness matching, all you have to do is click on this new button in either a reference track or the montage output in the inspector. And by default, whichever one you click on is used as the reference level and turns turquoise to indicate this. Meanwhile, that button will turn yellow in the other locations to indicate that those sources are being matched to the turquoise source. After a few seconds, an LUFS value will appear next to the reference source and deviation values will appear next to the yellow sources. You can also click on the deviation value to see the applied gain, which is indicated by square brackets. 
and can be really useful if you also want to compensate your monitor gain. If the deviation ever grows too large, you can update the compensation value by clicking this button. And you can even go into your audio montage preferences to set some key behaviors and parameters for this feature. Last but not least, we have some new loudness meta normalizer functions in the audio montage. So if you open the loudness meta normalizer and look at the main clip dropdown menu, you'll see two new options at the bottom. These are aimed at maintaining the existing balance between clips while adjusting the loudness of all of them in some equal and predictable way. So maybe you're working with stems and want to normalize one stem or the main mix to a specified level, but keep the internal balance between the stems the same. Or perhaps you need to optimize the peak headroom on a group of clips, but without changing their level relationship. This gives you a precise, quick, and easy way to accomplish that. There's also a third new function in the montage and master section dropdowns, and that is normalize peak level. So this just gives you another method to set the sample peak or true peak output and is sort of an enhancement to the existing behavior where you could restrict the amount of gain added to achieve a specific loudness without exceeding a certain peak level. Now you can have WaveLab adjust the gain up or down to precisely achieve specific peak levels. And as we'll see in another video, these updates are also reflected in the batch processor, which gives a nice degree of parity. So those are the new loudness management features in WaveLab 12. If this was helpful, we'd love it if you gave the video a like and certainly take a look in the manual for more detail on all of these as we kind of only scratch the surface on some of them. Also, if you head on over to the WaveLab channel, we've got more videos on other new features in WaveLab 12, along with tutorials, the Pro Workflows live stream series with Justin Perkins, and all sorts of other good content for you to check out. So go ahead and subscribe or ring the bell to be notified when new videos are available, and you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.